It is good to see you, creator. We're gonna revisit the animated handwriting application that is 100% free, requires absolutely no software, but this time I'm gonna show you how to make the background green. That way you can save the video, bring it into your favorite nonlinear editor, and remove that green color with chroma key so that you can use it anywhere you want. Let's get some. Just to let you know, I'm on a constant quest to find all the cool software that makes your videos more engaging and super fun and cool for your visitors. If you like what you hear, consider subscribing. That way you can be notified when new videos come in. Now, I also read all my comments and uh, I made a video about this animated handwriting um, website called Calligrapher.ai. And uh, Josh Kaufman reached out to me in comments and said, hey, Scott, is it possible to change the background of the website so that I can use it, record the screen, and bring it into my video editor and remove that background using chroma key? Josh, the answer is yes, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Let's go. Okay, let me give you a little broad summary about what we're going to be doing here. First and foremost, I will give you the correct URL to the calligrapher.ai website. That way we can copy it and put it in the system cache so that we can paste it when we create the browser source. Then we're gonna go into OBS and I'm gonna show you all the appropriate video settings. That way when the browser source is created, it properly fills out the screen like it does on my tutorial here. Then we'll go into creating the browser source and I'm gonna give you some uh, settings that I'm willing to bet that you do not know about and you're gonna learn them for the first time in this video and it's gonna really give you some good solid value when it comes time to using browser sources in the near future. So let's get started. Okay, let's go into the description of this video and copy the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.calligrapher.ai address. I've got it in this browser right now and I'll highlight it and hit control C to copy it. If you have a Mac, you can click Command C. It'll do the same thing. Now it's saved in cache, and we can paste it at any time that we need. Let's go into OBS Studio now, and we're gonna take a look at the settings on the far right. So click the Settings button, and I wanna just go over the output settings that I have so that you, if you wish, you can copy these settings so that when you set up the browser source, it just works properly. So uh, make sure that you're in output mode simple and in the recording area, I have the recording path, in other words, where the video gets saved as my downloads folder. That way I can find it easily. The recording quality is high quality, medium file size. I'm using the MP4 format because it's widely used and I'm using encoding of NVIC. Okay, now that, that's using my, my graphics card. If you don't have NVIC, you can select any one of these and it'll be fine for now, okay? Now the video settings are 1920 by 1080 for both my base and output canvas. And um, that's just 1080p, okay? And I have the frames per second set at 60. And the reason why I set it at 60 is because I love that smooth motion that it creates. So I'll hit okay to that. And now it comes time to create the source. So click the plus sign in the lower left-hand corner and select browser. Okay, and I'm gonna name this Animated Handwriting, just so that I know what it is, hit okay. And in the URL file, make it all blue and hit Command or Control V for paste. And the width will be 1920, height will be 1080 or 1080, 1080p. And in the custom CSS field, this is crucial now because this is what's gonna turn the background green Highlight the RGBA and all the zeros and those brackets there and type in the word LIME. Scroll down, check off shutdown source when not visible and refresh browser when scene becomes active. Hit OK. And now your entire screen should be filled with the calligrapher.ai website and it should just fit perfectly, okay? So as you may or may not know, if you check out the other video, I explain all the properties and the parameters. If you type text in the lower left-hand corner and click the right button on the right-hand side, it will begin creating the animated handwriting. So if I type something in there, oh, wait a minute, I can't type in there. What's the deal? Well, a browser source does not allow you to manipulate the screen. You can't put type in there, you can't click buttons. So how do you do it? Well, there's an actual way. And I just learned this today. 
if you right click on the source, on the browser source, and select interact, a new screen pops up. And this screen allows you to actually manipulate the browser source as if it was a regular browser. I guess this is a, this window is actually a browser. So for those who have two monitors, this really comes in handy. In this case, I'll, I do have two monitors, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it on one screen here so that you can see it. So in the lower left-hand corner, if I type in green screen and click the right button, there you go, it shows up. Now, let me make this screen a little bit wider so you can see what I'm doing here with the parameters real quick. Legibility is gonna to be towards the middle. Stroke width will be all the way towards the right so that the line is nice and fat and beefy. The speed is okay for me. The style, now, whoop, there's a pull down. It looks like it's freaking out, look at that. So I guess the pull downs don't work, so we won't touch it, but that doesn't matter because I want it to remain on the dash. When we click record, I'm going to click the right button a couple times, and when that pull-down is set to the dash, it's going to cycle through all the available fonts that this thing uses. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the animation reuse all the fonts one by one, and then we'll have a file with all the variant types that you can choose from when you bring it into your favorite video editor and then you can pick and choose which one you want to use. It's just going to be one file with a bunch of different fonts. So here we go. I'm going to move this, make this window a little bit smaller. Okay. I'm going to click the start record and you can see down at the bottom here we've got a red dot which designates that it is recording and I'm on the interact window. I'm going to click right and let it do its thing here. There's one style. There's a second style. There's another font there. That's a good one, it's nice and thick. Okay, that's great, and now I will hit stop. Now when I go into my downloads folder, I'll bring it over here, let's see, here we go. Come on, get in there, there it is. As you can see, the first file is this one with the date, and it's an MP4, if I click it, there you go. It is an MP4 file with the animations. Come on, animation. There we go. There they are. So now you can bring this file into your favorite video editor, remove the green color with chroma key, and you are good to go. Upon removing the green color, you'll probably want to modify the black text, you know, the black line. You can change that with a filter or something like that if you wish. Unfortunately, there's no way of doing that using CSS. I've tried it and I can't figure it out. So if you figure it out, let me know in comments, possibly there is a way, and if you find out how to do it, let me know, and I'll make another video and give you a shout out, okay? I have two more videos that will be of great interest to you. The first one is the first video in the series that shows you how to animate handwritten text in your live stream, and the second video here will show you how to convert your face into a cartoon image. It is so cool. I will see you over there. Best wishes, stay strong, and keep fighting, yeah.